Hey guys and welcome back to the Project Risk Coach YouTube channel. Today we're talking about making decisions with our project team members. So I have a question to test your understanding. Here we go. A decision is reached when the largest block of individuals vote for an item is called A, a majority vote, B, a unanimous vote, C, a plurality vote, or D, an autocratic vote. Hi, I'm Harry Hall at theprojectriskcoach.com, and I'm here to help you pass your RMP exam. So in our projects, we are faced with decisions, and sometimes we need to make a quick decision. We may ask our project team members to help us, and we may do this by voting. So there are three different ways that we might reach a project decision. We may have a unanimous vote, that is everyone votes for one particular item. We might have a majority vote, that is where 50% or more of the people in the room vote for a particular option. Or we may have a plurality vote. So what is the difference here? Let's dive a little deeper into the plurality vote. So here's an example. We have seven people on our project team. Three of those people vote for option number one, two vote for option number two, and two vote for option number three. We do not have a unanimous vote because uh, everyone did, did not vote for one particular item. Neither do we have a majority vote that would require 50% or more of the people in the room. That is, in this example, four or more people would have to vote for a particular option, but we do have what is called a plurality vote, the largest block of individuals voting for one particular item. Hey, I hope this has been helpful to you. I hope you'll subscribe here to my YouTube channel where every week I provide you with tips for your RMP exam and exam questions like this one to help you prepare for that exam. Take care now.